Who can teach you how to handle your money and become rich from zero? The wealthiest family, of course. Welcome to Insight Booth. And today, we learn from the wealthiest family in history. When you hear about wealth, you imagine Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. But in terms of relative wealth, the Rothschilds were the wealthiest family in history. In the 1800s, Meyer Amschel Rothschild and his five children established a banking empire that would spread across Western Europe and do business worldwide. Known for having the biggest fortune in the 19th century, the Rothschilds used simple lessons for acquiring wealth, which we can still benefit from today. So one, they started small. The Rothschild family is the wealthiest in the world, but it was not so 200 years ago. The Rothschild was started small by Meyer Amschel Rothschild, who was a humble money lender. This further emphasizes that all achievements started as an idea. After all, Rome was not built in a day. Starting from scratch means you still have time to master the business fundamentals, the ins and outs. Just as Meyer Amschel Rothschild mastered banking and financing, as a wise man once said, despise not the days of little beginning. Two, the Rothschild had a mission. Meyer Amschel Rothschild's mission was to be the world's financial hub. At some point, he managed to control directly or indirectly most of the banks worldwide. Lesson to learn, you need a strong business mission to build a successful business that will stand the test of time. The Rothschild dynasty has lived on for more than 200 years and is still waxing strong because the mission of its founder has been preserved and followed. Always have a mission for every business you start because your entrepreneurial spirit is in the mission. Three, Rothschild had a long-term plan. Without a plan, your mission is worthless. The Rothschild family started small, but its founder fashioned a long-term plan to help the business achieve its goal, becoming the world's financial hub. And his descendants have stuck to this long-term plan. This is why the Rothschild will continue to dominate the banking and financing sector. They're focused on executing their long-term plan. Ask yourself, how long do you want your business to live? Four, sell to the richest buyers. Selling to the wealthy and the nobility is the major concept of the Rothschild family dynasty. The whole family used this key to remarkable wonders. Rothschilds were rolling with big fish, and there wasn't anyone bigger that they could sell to and finance with their banks than governments. The family provided value to smaller banks and individuals for loans, but most importantly, for national governments when several went to war against each other throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. Governments, kings, and monarchs were the wealthiest buyers and paid huge interest to build the Rothschild family fortune. If you're searching for wealth, sell to those with wealth and provide them and others with tremendous value. Five, they're focused. Almost all successful entrepreneurs thank the power of concentration for their success. For over 200 years, the Rothschilds have focused on their core banking and financing without deviating. They started out in banking, made a fortune in banking, and have stayed true to the niche for 300 years. Learn the importance of concentration in business. Don't try to launch multiple companies at once. Work on one of them and concentrate until you hit success. Six, they built a brand. When you hear the name Rothschild, the first thing that comes to mind is banking. The Rothschild family has created a brand by sticking their teeth into the banking sector, and their name is synonymous with banking today. So if you're building a business that you want to outlive you, start building a brand. Don't destroy it. Seven, they respected the family value. The Rothschild family business survives today because the descendants of Meyer Amschel Rothschild have continued the same tradition he laid down. Those who respect the brand the most are the family members. Look closer at their family and you'll realize that the Rothschild family prefers to operate from behind the scene. You've hardly ever heard about the Rothschild family members. They like to keep their dealings quiet and strive to maintain a low profile. The Rothschild founder never disclosed his net worth publicly and the whole family keeps it that way. Their donations are also made under anonymity. Plus, I've never heard about any dispute in the Rothschild family over inheritance sharing because the family members have the utmost respect for the brand Rothschild. They never forget the values that took them to the top. Most entrepreneurs forget themselves and start to live recklessly simply because they've achieved success. Don't fall into this trap. Remain true to yourself and your philosophy. Eight, they're strategic in their leadership style. Meyer Rothschild spurred the family's growth by delegating duties to his children according to their strengths and weaknesses. He sent his tough, ambitious sons to serve business terrains with many opportunities and markets to be conquered, while those quiet ones went to a less competitive environment. This single tactical delegation is the core of the strategic leadership style of the Rothschild family. It's a vital thing to learn. Harness the strengths of those that work for you and maximize them to the fullest. Nine, ally yourself with the wealthy and powerful. Meyer Rothschild learned finance at an early age, and one of the most important things in finance is connections. Allying with powerful men with plenty of reserves to spend was monumental for Rothschild to continue doing business and start banking. 
The lesson comes in two folds. First, take care of your customers, who will likely become your customers again. Second, sell to the wealthiest buyers. Listening closely and replying well is the highest perfection we can attain in the art of conversation. Two. 10. Utilize the supply and demand equation. The Rothschilds knew business, and like many similar robber barons of the 1900s, they controlled the resources in demand. This led them to accumulating more and more wealth. Allied with the monarchs, governments, and leaders of Western Europe, they became the financiers a country would go to if they needed a sponsor for war. The demand was huge at these times of need, and the Rothschild banks were the ones that had the supply of funds necessary. Meyer Amschel achieved this by placing his five sons in five strategically placed locations around Europe. Rumors say that the family would fund both sides of a war. While it may not be valuable in the sensical thought of it, the family filled a need and provide value that was much in demand, which affected millions of people. If you want to achieve wealth beyond the positive side of the supply and demand equation, make sure what you have is the best fit for your customer's needs. Supply decreases if you're special, one of a kind, and can achieve what no one else can for your customers. This is when prices also rise for your services. 11. Family and Close Associates Rothschild stood succinctly together in their businesses. Meyer had a plan and a vision, but what's remarkable, he made his sons follow through with the plan magnificently. The brothers were together and united by their mission, and they could depend on each other. Sometimes it's not the best idea to run a business with family, but the lesson to learn is that if you can come to alignment with your trusted allies, there is no limit to what you can accomplish. I would also add that having this kind of trust and faithful execution from your employees or subordinates is imperative. Employ people you trust and count on, following through on the plan and the vision. When you find the right people, there is no telling how far you can go. Trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundational principle that holds all relationships. Stephen R. Covey 12. Rothschilds are ambitious but humble. Ambition is the propeller of the Rothschild family. Meyer Amschel Rothschild was ambitious, just like his sons. But there is a good reason you can't find as much information about the Rothschilds as some of the other industry leaders. The Rothschilds didn't court attention and instead went about their businesses without making frequent headlines. When you want to find out how those with wealth have lived, you'll find most of the information on Rockefeller, Carnegie, and J.P. Morgan, yet fewer on the Rothschilds. The family constructed several enormous estates and fancy houses, yet there weren't too many headlines about the family. It is vital that those who did business with the family knew about them and where to find them. The lesson is that the whole world doesn't have to know when you become wealthy. In fact, this is vital in the modern social media world. You can stay humble and still go about your business. The Rothschilds were a family that knew the business and went about acquiring wealth so perfectly that great lessons can be found in how they made their accomplishments. Whether you operate a small, medium, or even large business, these lessons can be colossal in your success. I don't see why we can't replicate the success of the Rothschild family. After all, success is replicable. But what do you think? What have you learned from the Rothschilds? Did you already implement some of the lessons? Share your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.